Hello and welcome back YouTube, it's your host Viola D and in today's video is a review for a tri-folding keyboard with USB Type-C that will be my new daily driver. Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I am doing a full keyboard review of the Bao HB3018 Mini Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad. But with this trackpad, you can only pick this off AliExpress. It's not on Amazon or any other platform. You can only get this off AliExpress for $29.99. With shipping, this will come out to about $37. This product is still cheaper than the BKO5, BKO8, which they're both good products, but they're about $40 and $50 respectively. This is less than both of them and I believe this offers a better value for your dollar. This is the next generation of foldable keyboards with actual USB Type-C charging. I'm pretty much a stickler when it comes to that. My BKO5 has been king for a while, but it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky, and I don't want micro USB anymore. This is a good alternative for a replacement for it. Right off the bat, it's lighter, it's thinner, and it's smaller than BKO5 with a trackpad built into the side of it. Inside the box, you are given instructions, just a general thank you of purchasing the product, and the instructions of just how to do everything. Like I said, the BKO5 has micro USB. It came out in 2014. I wanted something a little bit more modern, a little bit lighter, and that brings me to the Bao HB318. You are given 200 milliamp battery. You don't have to charge it every couple months. You also have the same flaps on the sides. You can keep the keyboard raised off the desk. I'm not really a fan of, so you do have that option. And you can actually also also connect up to three different devices, which is really good just because I have multiple devices and this is perfect for it. This is not a full-size keyboard. It's about roughly about 70% of a full-size QWERTY keyboard. So it's good. To actually connect it is pretty easy. Go to your settings, go to Bluetooth, search for the device you want, and then just connect it. All you have to do is hold on function, Q1 for the first one, W for two, and E for three. It's just that easy. Plus this does have a trackpad. This is not your Apple Apple's trackpad, you are not given all the suggestions as Apple's, so think of it more of a traditional trackpad from any laptop for gestures. I'll go over each one. Basic finger gesture navigation will work just fine. One finger, click, dragging, moving up and down. Selecting will work just fine. Two finger gesture swiping up and down to go up and down a web page works butterly smooth and is quite responsive. You do have pinch to zoom, but it's not a true native pinch to zoom. It's more like control plus or control minus, as in it will only work with the browser and nothing else. You do not have two finger swipe back and forth from the last web page to the next. Like I said, it does not have native pinch to zoom. Like in the gallery, you do not have pinch to zoom, zoom in and out. Three finger gestures work just fine. Swiping left to right with three fingers will open up multitasking. So you can go to any app you want without actually opening up the multitasking in Apple. You have a small icon for everything. Swiping up with three fingers, go back to the last app and swiping down will take you home. Also, four finger gestures will take a screenshot. This product is fairly thin. It's equal as thin as an iPad, so I believe it's about nine millimeters thin. It's good, so it's not bulky. You can put this in a pocket or your backpack. It's made out of ABS material. Feels fairly good in the hands. Typing is still top notch. Like I said, typing is really good. Each button, each button is really firm. It's not mushy. So typing, especially for myself, will be pretty quick. I've done about a dozen Mini 6 keyboard case reviews in the past, and they've always been tend to be loose, a little bit flimsy, and not superficial. As for having a full size keyboard. This is the Apple Magic Keyboard. It's been good, but I do not like lightning whatsoever for my accessories. That's an automatic deal breaker for me. But that's a full-size QWERTY keyboard, same size as a BKO5. But with this, with the bow one, it is a little bit longer, but it's not as tall. So it's about equivalent to a 70% of a full QWERTY keyboard. But with this keyboard, I'm a huge fan of it. This is my new daily driver. I have a travel bag with my Mini 6 when I go out for work school. I like to take it with me wherever I go. So actually having the ability to do real work with a full-size keyboard is a major plus in my book. This will replace the BKO5 for me personally. I just want one cable for everything. With this product, you only really have to charge it once every couple months, but I like having that option just because. Also with having the extra trackpad, does sweeten the deal a little bit more. You know, it's weird to say this. I actually have, I actually have a small cabinet just dedicated now to keyboard cases and foldable keyboards. Those 
those are basically those are basically my cabinet of shame. So all my old keyboards, all my failed products I've reviewed. It's more so keyboards than anything else will go there. I will probably put the BK05 and also the Apple Magic keyboard there also. They're both good products, but I like the bow one now. This is my official daily driver. I never thought I would say in my life I have a cabinet of keyboards, but life is weird. So like always, I'm your host, VLD. Smash that bell, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the cool Apple tech. Peace.